Let's shift gears to Bernie Sanders because he is coming on strong, and this guy is not making any bones about it. He wants to wage war against Wall Street. The Democratic presidential candidate saying, quote, I think that the business model of Wall Street is a fraud, and I think these guys drove us into the worst economic downturn in modern history of America, and I think they're at it again. Meanwhile, Donald Trump getting ready to unveil his tax plan. The Donald saying hedge fund managers will hate his plan. So in an odd way, Katrina, are Trump and Sanders, when it comes to taxes, on the same page? Not really. I think Trump just doesn't quite know how to articulate what he's saying. He's he doesn't not know how to saying articulate. he wants to essentially yeah, raise great. taxes. Well, exactly right. But he wants to get rid of the, the loopholes that all the special interest groups have put in. And I think most Americans would consider that fair, although that would be seeming like it would be a tax hike when, in fact, it's just getting rid of loopholes. If Obama, I, I wait a minute, if so Obama, strong. wait, I, I want to come down on this. So I think, you know, Donald Trump coming out and saying that he wants to go after hedge fund, fund managers. OK, but here's a guy who has not played pay his fair share. I mean, we're talking somebody who has built his fortune on crony capitalism. Just last week, we were reporting on how Trump Towers received $163 million subsidy. This is as New Yorkers are paying some of the highest tax rates. He's boasting about how the Gucci store in the basement alone okay, is worth more than Mitt Romney. In, Chris, yeah. I got your point, but uh -huh. the first chairman of the SEC was Joe Kennedy. Why? Because no one knew how to game the system better than him. They say, mm -hmm. good, this guy knows how to game the system. Let's put him in charge of it. A lot of Americans are saying Donald Trump's been pretty upfront mm -hmm. that he has gained the system, right. that he's paid off politicians because that's the way the system is set up. And there's, he thinks there's, they like there's, about there's a word for that. And he Corruption. says it's broken. And he says it's broken. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's go back to the tax plan. If Obama had proposed and said that his tax plan is going to hurt hedge fund managers, there are people, maybe even you, Charles, that would have been calling him a socialist. They would be comparing him to Bernie Sanders, who is not a Democrat. He's not a registered Democrat. This is the problem so, I have with it. I don't care about the, the 1% or the 1% I, uh, these hedge fund managers. What I do care about is that this is the barn door that once you open it, it never stops with the 1% or the 1%. And that's what scares me. That's what worries me. I tweeted that the other day with, uh, about Donald Trump suggesting higher taxes. Listen, right. you want to go after these guys, you want to tax yourself, fine, but I do worry about taxes being used as punishment, Katrina, and that's the difference, I think, with President Obama, taxes have been not necessarily an economic policy, but more of a punitive right. thing, a punitive measure, because you've achieved a certain amount of success, and now you must be punished. Oh. No, you're absolutely right, Charles, and that's the difference with Trump's plan, too. He caps out at about 15 percent. He's just simply saying, don't hide this additional money, just tax it as income, and then they're paying a certain percentage of their income like everybody else. He wants to tax it as income. I have been saying that for five years on this channel to you. Everybody still now loves Donald Trump and the Republican say, Party. Do Donald say, Trump is on my side on taxes. All you got to do is say I, I on immigration. Chris, just say build a wall, okay, stop China from ripping us off, and you could be the next Donald Trump. I'm going to build the biggest, most luxurious wall you've ever seen, Charles. But, but Jillian, yes. listen, tax policy is, is critical. I, right. think that, I think the tax hikes from the Obama administration, I think some of these rules and regulations have hurt this economy. I think they've stalled the recovery. Mm -hmm. It's the worst in post-recession history, post-Great Depression. And, and, and so I do get a little bit worried. If Donald Trump wants to bring it all above board, fine. If we, if we finally get someone who can read that damn tax code and really right. saw it in half, I'd be thrilled. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see what his tax plan is going to be, partially because it's been so inconsistent so far. We're talking about a guy who's one day calling for a flat tax, another day right. calling for tax. Real 1%. quick, though, mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders is an all-out socialist. We don't have to call him a socialist. Right. He's, 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 admitted so. he's, he's admitted that, though, and right. he's coming on strong. Uh, yeah. Chris, real quick, mm -hmm. I think this is the worst thing for America. No, uh, look, he's not going to be the Democratic nominee right now. Again, as I've said to you before, at the early stages of the election, the excitement's on the fringe. When the actual voters get engaged, it comes right back to the center on both sides of the party. That's why Donald Trump won't be here next November, Katrina, and neither will Bernie. Katrina, Bernie is hot, uh, Elizabeth Warren are hot. They pull the strings in the Democratic Party at this moment, and they both are socialists, and they both want to tax us to death. They think success is a four-letter word. Well, you know what? They're the only two that's going to carry the base. I think they're getting them mobilized. I think Joe Biden's going to step in. And like Chris said, I think he's absolutely right. It's going to go right back towards the middle. All right, guys, let's leave it there. You were fantastic.